the Temple Mount is the seat of God, the place the Lord would choose. Hamakom asher yivchar Adonai lohecha. Every day, three times a day, Jews recite this prayer. May it be your will that the temple be speedily rebuilt in our own time. It's a prayer they prayed for almost 2,000 years. But Jews here in Jerusalem are doing more than just praying. Just a few steps away from the Western Wall, rabbis and craftsmen are building what they call a temple in waiting. We're supposed to build a temple, and nothing about that changed. Nothing about that commandment changed. Heim Richman is a director at the Temple Institute in Jerusalem. The Temple Institute is actively engaged in research and preparation for the resumption of the service in the Holy Temple to the extent of actually preparing operational blueprints for the construction of the temple according to the most modern standards. This menorah is just one of several vessels created for the next temple. It's covered with 95 pounds of pure gold and has a price tag of $2 million. Piece by piece, the third temple is taking shape with priest garments, vessels of copper, gold, and silver, and a new generation of Levite priests, specially trained for temple service. We have enough in place now to resume the divine service and, and to build the temple. Richmond isn't the only one who's ready to rebuild. You actually have blueprints, architectural oh, yes. drawings for yes. the, the yes. third temple. 3,000 years after King Solomon built the first Jewish temple, another Solomon is laying the foundations for the third. Gershon Solomon leads a group called the Temple Mount Faithful. They commissioned these cornerstones for the third temple. The six-ton stones were consecrated with water from the biblical pool of Siloam. The end-time temple should be built on the same location of the first and the second temple. Now this is a document, the European Union Security and Defense Policy, July 2009. And the headline goal, an European Union military force has to be in place by the year 2010. Now this is the same document just zoomed in. Now this is an article in the Telegraph newspaper and you can see it confirms it. Now I'm not going to read it, please pause the DVD and read it for yourself. And this is also the same news article in the Telegraph newspaper, just zoomed in. So we see that this is a reality. And this is also another goal for 2010, a deadline for biometrics use. Now the biometric identification has to be in place by the year 2010 internationally.